published in the Journal of Natural Products indicates that cannabis could play a role in the fight against the coronavirus. It's more than just a Hail Mary. Here to explain our health reporter Haley Hernandez tonight. Haley? So researchers found a pair of cannabinoid acids bind to the spike protein in the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. That blocks a critical step in the process the virus uses to infect people. The acids are abundant in hemp, but the study comes with fair criticism, even from people extracting it here in Houston. Here at Bayou City Hemp Company, they bring in the plant, grind it, extract the oils, freeze it, heat it, and create CBD products. I know you've heard of CBD, but that's just one of more than 200 different types of cannabinoids, which they're really just starting to scratch the surface of how this can be used in health. In a study at Oregon State University, scientists working with cells in a Petri dish found hemp extract may block the spike protein of the coronavirus from infecting your cells. What they're experimenting with are cannabinoid acids like this CBDA right here. This is not present in controlled substances like THC, the ingredient in marijuana that creates a high. Uh, these cannabinoids, when they were tested against the coronavirus, they found out that the these cannabinoids are binding actually to the spike proteins. Andrew Pardo, BioCity Hemp Company scientist in charge of testing their products, says CBDA can interact with the coronavirus's spike protein, but it's also possible that won't mean anything for humans. It's our starting point. Before we move on to live large organisms where the system gets really complicated, we start off with something that can be controlled. In Texas, it's legal to buy, sell, and manufacture hemp extracts and compounds in cosmetics, lotions, and dietary supplements. And Pardo tells me since the release of the COVID study, there's been a growth in demand for CBDA specifically. So Pardo said that we don't know what's going to happen as in whether cannabis will be used in the future with COVID, but he says it shows promise that deserves further exploration.